Airframe Inspection Oral Questions Where do you find the regulation that specifies the operating conditions that make a 100-hour inspection mandatory? FAR Part 91 a certified airframe and power plant mechanic may sign off and approve the return to service following what type of inspection? A 100-hour inspection. Under what conditions may a mechanic perform an annual inspection and return the aircraft to service? The mechanic must hold an Inspection Authorization, or IA. What is the time frame within which an annual inspection must be performed if such an inspection is required? Within the preceding 12 calendar months. Under what conditions May any checklist be used as a guide for a 100-hour inspection? The checklist must meet the minimum standards outlined in FAR 43 Appendix D. May an aircraft that is overdue for an annual inspection be flown to a place where the inspection can be performed? Yes, as long as they have a ferry permit. In order for an individual person to conduct a 100-hour inspection and approve the return to service, that person must have what type of certificates? A mechanic certificate with both airframe and power plant ratings. An aircraft is required by FAR 91.409 to have a 100-hour inspection. Is it legal to fly that airplane beyond the inspection requirement, and if so, for how long? Yes, it can be operated for up to 10 hours if required to reach a place where the inspection can be accomplished. An airplane is flown four hours over the 100-hour inspection limit to reach your maintenance facility. How do you account for those four hours? The four hours are included in the next 100-hour time and service period. What types of operations require that aircraft operating under Part 91 must undergo 100-hour inspections. Aircraft operated for compensation or hire or used for flight instruction when provided by the flight instructor. An aircraft under a progressive inspection program is operated for compensation or hire. Does it need a 100-hour inspection? No, progressive inspections replace 100-hour inspections. Who is authorized to supervise a progressive inspection? Certified AMP mechanics who hold an inspection authorization, certified repair stations, or aircraft manufacturers. When a progressive inspection program is discontinued, at what time is the next 100-hour inspection due? One hundred hours after the last complete inspection of the progressive program. An owner desires to use a progressive inspection program. 
To whom does the owner apply for authorization? To the FAA Flight Standards District Office, or FISDO, having jurisdiction over the area where the owner is located. Is an engine run-up required as part of a 100-hour inspection on a turbine-powered aircraft? Yes. Where would you locate the required items that must be recorded in the aircraft's maintenance records following completion of a 100-hour inspection? FAR Part 43 Where might you locate a sample of the recommended statement for recording the approval for return to service of an aircraft following completion of an annual or 100-hour inspection? FAR 43 43.11 to be specific where would you look to find approved information for work on an aircraft electrical system? In the manufacturer's maintenance manual or instructions for continued airworthiness. What are the limitations placed on mechanics with regard to propellers? Mechanics may not perform major repairs to or alterations of propellers. After equipment is installed in accordance with an STC, who must approve the return to service? An A&P mechanic who holds an inspection authorization.